What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing my buddy Danny, my client. Shout out to my boy Danny out there in Miami, building a financial services business, taking his business onto social media and freaking crushing it with Facebook ad leads. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a custom conversion. Now, a custom conversion is for those of you that are trying to drive leads or sales through your Facebook or and Instagram advertising. You got to let Facebook know about a particular link, and that's your thank you page. You got to let Facebook know where is the final destination that you're actually trying to take people to. Is it just the ad? Are you trying to get people to just just to see your ad on on the platform? Are you trying to get people to click on the ad because that's a completely different thing? Or are you trying to get people to opt in from that ad? These are very specific objectives within the Facebook ad platform, you guys, and you want to set up your custom conversion to let people know or to let Facebook know that you're trying to get people to opt in. So it's either an opt in or a sell. You want to make sure you set this set set up your custom conversion, and that's going to be based on your thank you page. So I'm going to be walking Danny through. Share your screen, Danny. I'm going to be walking him through how to do that. And so for all of you guys out there that are trying to capture leads and you're wondering you're trying to run a facebook ad and you're like holy shit david i can't even run i can't even capture a lead i'm putting out these ads i'm boosting posts but no one's opting in this is why you guys because most likely you've never set up your custom conversion so to do that make sure you set up your business manager first you guys um I'll have a link in the description on how to set up your Facebook business manager in 2025. Make sure you set all that up first, and then you can come back here and access the custom conversion setting. So from here, Danny, all we're going to do is let's go to your business manager folder, and let's go to custom conversion. And this folder, you guys, in the business, in in your, yeah, as I'm taking, it, taking you through the Facebook business manager setup, I teach you how to set up these seven bookmarks, which makes it super easy for us to just go straight in and, and click on what we need to click on, which is which is the custom conversion. Okay, so so make sure you watch my Facebook ads manager setup first, you guys, or or all this is gonna seem like a like a foreign language to you. So from here now we got we got our custom conversion. So all we're gonna do now is grab our link for your for your thank you page, which you should already have um copied. And mm -hmm. we're going to just click on that blue button. So create custom conversion. And so from here, we're going to name it. And, and what I do is I'll name it exactly what I named the custom audience, which was Barry's leads, right? That's what we named the custom audience. So we could just name the, name the custom conversion, same thing. And then capital, capital protect pixel. That's the, that's the name of the pixel. That's the data source, yep. the action mm -hmm. source, the website. We leave it on that. And then the event, the URL traffic, we're even going to leave it on that. Go ahead and click on that drop down. Click on the event. Yeah, it's just that one. And then click on the action source, the top on the website. I think it's just that as well. Yeah, perfect. So website, perfect. And then select your own category. Let's click on that one. And we're going to create, we're going to select the category down below blue. Select your own category. And you're going to hit the recommended, hit that drop down. And these are all the different sources, you guys. These are all the different custom conversions when someone um adds to cart when someone completes a registration when someone freaking um contacts you they click on the button and you're trying to get them to to to, to make a phone call you're trying to you're trying to generate phone calls you're trying to get people to find a location these are all action steps within the facebook ad platform so as you're setting up your ad you can optimize and tell facebook exactly what you're trying to do and this is what you don't get when you're just boosting a post. I spoke to many, many small business owners, thousands of real estate agents that will say, David, yeah, I ran a Facebook ad. Yeah, David, I boosted a post. You, th that's exactly like burning money. You don't ever want to do any of that because when you're boosting a post or when you're just simply running an ad from your ad manager and not your business manager, you're, you don't get access to any of this. So you're just running an ad and you're not being specific with it. And that's why most don't capture leads because they've never set this part up. So here, what are we shooting for? Are we shooting for a subscriber? Are we shooting for someone to schedule an appointment? Are we are we shooting for a purchase? Or are we shooting for a lead? Shooting for a lead, right? So click on that one. And then we're going to simply paste in our thank you page link right there. So again, two pages, you guys. You should have a landing page and you should have a thank you page. This is the link to the thank you page. So as we're running ads, hit create. We're simply telling Facebook that this is the page that we're ultimately trying to get people to, okay? As you run the ad, yes, they have to click on it. Yes, they have to go to the landing page. 
for sure. But the but the ultimate destination on when you're on where you're trying to take that lead to is the conversion, is the thank you page. Okay, so click on done. And and so those of you that are that are and go ahead and open up another tab, refresh that page or paste in that link. Those of you that are selling products online, so you have a Shopify store, right? Refresh the actual link. So maybe go to or any of those links at the top to the right, check email. Is that is that Barry's thank you page link? Yeah, yeah, refresh yeah, yeah refresh this page. So so this could this this applies for for again, you guys, anyone that's trying to capture a lead or make a sell. You could be on the internet selling hats, right? You're on the internet selling hats. I go to your Shopify store. I look at the red one, the blue one, the green one, and the purple one. I click on the red one. I freaking put in my credit card information. I, I click on purchase now. I then land on your confirmation page. Hey, thank you for ordering the red and black hat. Your order is being shipped and prepared now. Please expect, expect five to seven days. Check your email for the receipt, blah, blah, blah. That is a confirmation page that you'll get on any damn website when you're on the internet. Purchasing something or simply opting in to do something, right? There's always that second page, that confirmation page. So again, if you're running ads and you're trying to get people to buy physical products on your Shopify store, all you want to do is get your confirmation page. So whatever that confirmation page may be. And it's going to be a different confirmation page for every product. So if you do have hats, you're going to have a confirmation page for your red and black one. You're going to have a confirmation page for your purple one, right? So every link is very, very specific. So in this case, this is the actual link. That is the, that, 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 and there's only one link in this case. And so that's going to be where we're telling Facebook, hey, man, yes, when people see our ad, they click learn more. Yes, they go to the landing page, but we're ultimately trying to get them to land there. That's our custom conversion. So if you go back to the events manager, um, normally this takes a few minutes. Sometimes it happens right away, but refresh this page. That inactive will eventually go to active um, because all we did is we refreshed the page. So now Facebook read it for the first time. Yeah, it's just going to take a few minutes. But but as you refresh the page, Facebook read that link for the first time. Well, actually, not even the first time, the second time, really. Um, and so eventually that inactive, you'll see that go active. And so when you actually go and set up your ad, you guys, as you're going into the ads manager and you're you're creating your ad, and in fact it should it should be there. So let me show you let me show you this part real quick. Go to go to the bookmarks, go to your ads manager. We should still see that Barry's leads. So so the conversion the custom conversion name is Barry's leads. It's not active just yet, nor does it even really matter. But I always try to get it. No, go to ads manager. I always try to get it active before I even set up the ad. But I don't I don't even think it matters because it's 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 there. And once traffic starts to get there, then then for sure it's active. Um, so this Barry seminar video two video two what what is that? Oh, actually that's an no, old app. Okay, these, no, are, no. these are old ones, yeah. So now, so look, as we click create, so you guys, as we go and we set up a new ad, here's where you're gonna see that that conversion. We're gonna go leads because we're driving leads. We hit continue, and then as we get here, we'll go manual lead campaign. We'll hit continue. And then now, as we go through the first step, so this is, you don't have to name anything, um, and you are in the category, right? What are you, in the financial category? Do you ever choose mm -hmm. categories here or no? I don't know. Okay, cool. So you don't have to. Okay, so click on next. If you're in the housing category or credit card category, then yeah, you would hit that drop down. So right here, you guys, on the ad set level, the conversion location, we're going to go website. And then as you go website, you'll see the custom conversion that you just set up. So scroll down. And then right here, maximize number of conversions, the data set, choose the data set. So, so hit that drop down on the data set. It's going to be that data set. And then right below, you'll see the custom conversion event. Hit that drop down. And as you scroll through, we should see the Berry one. Okay, so it's not, it's not, yeah, so it's not. So I guess it has to show. It has to show active. Refresh this page. Yeah, that's fine. It'll be active in the next few minutes. Normally, it's still there, but it but it actually says not active yet. But I guess it's not even it's not even showing there. That's fine. It'll it'll be it'll be there eventually. So do, right. the, do the same thing. Data set. Actually, you know what? I think I think there might be one thing we need to do. Hit conversion event. Let's see if it's there. Come down. There actually might be one new step that I think Facebook. Okay, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad this is happening. Go to your business settings. Go to your business settings real quick. 
so um yeah so close go to business settings so we just set up a new custom conversion let's go business settings so all tools let me double check something really quick business settings to the right to the right up to the right business settings Okay, cool. So now scroll down on the left hand side and let's come down to come down to come down to data sources. Hit data sources, come down to custom conversions. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now go ahead and assign actually assign assign assets. Assign assets. Okay, perfect. So this this is so th I'm glad this happened. This is like an this is this is a, a, a an update within Facebook and and I'm glad I'm glad this happened. So the custom conversion has to be tied to the to the ad account. So check that box and then click on add. Perfect. Okay, cool. Done. And let's see and go to and so now go ahead and click on connected assets right in the middle, connected assets. Okay, perfect. So there's the ad account. Okay, great. So now go back to the actual page, the la the thank you page, the actual live thank you page up there to the right. Check email. I think it's that one. Refresh this page. And let's see if it happens right away, if it's still going to take a few minutes. But that part right there was required. I'm glad I'm glad we did that. And now just go back to Ads Manager. Go back to your um go back to your bookmarks. Go to custom conversions. And this that had to have been done for sure, but if it's still oh perfect. So 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 one active right away. So now if you go back, well, actually, I think you closed out that. Well, let's just go back just for the hell of it anyways. Just, um, yeah, go to that as manager. Refresh this page. And then just, because I'm pretty sure that that ad is still is still there. It just It's just in draft. Yeah, it's in draft. Okay, cool. And then we'll just delete it once, once we're done here anyways. But, but go ahead and check the box to the left. Check the box to the left. And then click on the ad set tab. So in the middle, ad sets. And so now as that ad, as that as that custom conversion is now active and we and we connected the ad account to it in the business settings. Now as we click on edit, now you'll see it in the drop down. So again, here in the ad set level, you guys, you're telling Facebook about the destination. Yeah, click on the data set and then the custom conversion, you'll see Barry's leads. Okay. And so here in the ad set level is where you're telling Facebook about the thank you page, about the conversion event, about the ultimate destination. So if you're trying to get me to buy the red and black hat, the confirmation page is that. The custom the the conversion event, your your conversion would have been would have been red black and red hat purchased. Right? That's what you could have easily named your freaking your custom conversion, your confirmation page of your thank you page. And so here is where you tell them about that if you're trying to drive sales or capture leads. And then on the next step, you guys, the ad level, that's where you would put the link for the learn more button. Okay, so as you see ads in Instagram, as you see ads on the, in the Facebook newsfeed, and you see learn more, as people click, it's the next step, the ad level, which is where you put the link for the learn more button. Okay, so there's two very important links when you're driving traffic to, a when you're trying to drive leads or drive sales. Link one is this custom conversion, in the ad set and then link two is your is your actual landing page and that's done at the ad level which is your third and final step so you're ready to go bro you're ready to go you got your audience right. set up you got your custom conversion set up and it's, it's ready to just drive traffic man so any questions on that whatsoever nope awesome